Hey guys, in this video we're going to talk about how to deal with your emotional baggage in a relationship. What happens in relationships is that we bring our emotional baggage, the things that we haven't dealt with in our lives that are still impacting all of our relationships actually, but they really come to the forefront in our intimate relationships or any of our close relationships because we feel more exposed and vulnerable in those relationships. How to uh, deal with this is the first step, of course, to anything is acknowledgement. So you, you can't change something that you're not aware of. And to be aware of where your baggage is showing up, all you have to do, well, not all you have to do, but the first thing you have to do is look at your negative emotions. So um, negative emotions are not necessarily bad and particularly anger is not a bad thing. It's how we actually behave in the world with those emotions that can potentially be uh, disruptive or dysfunctional for us and others. And so when we have a negative emotion, w the thing you need to do is to stop and evaluate, like where is this emotion coming from? Like this reaction, right? Like a lot of times we will react instead of respond. The key to being able to deal with baggage effectively is to take responsibility for yourself. This means that there's no blame. You can't play the blame game if you wanna win in love. So you're going to evaluate where is this negative emotion coming from? What is this negative emotion? Is it serving me? What's the story behind it? Like what kind of story am I telling myself or am, how am I interpreting these events that's causing me to be ang angry? And then the next thing is to ask yourself, what can I do about it? And you have to be brutally honest with yourself and delicately honest with people that are in your lives if you need to ask them for changes. And being honest means saying, look, I'm having a really negative uh, feeling about what's just happened here. I need to evaluate what's going on right now. This is what I need from you. Can you give it to me? Here's how I see this happening, but are you capable and willing to give this to me? A side note is that you can't expect or demand people to meet your needs. You can ask a request respectfully, but it's up to them to choose whether or not your request also suits their values and their needs. So you ask for what you want in a loving kind way. If you can't do that immediately, then you need to take a time out until you can actually have a loving conversation. Otherwise it's ineffective. So ask for what you need and then also ask them, what can I do if they agree to meet your need, or if you uh, agree to some kind of a compromise, then ask them, what can I do to help you help me meet my need? So what can I do that will support you in you supporting me? And so they might think about that and they might have a solution that's like, okay, well, if you ask me this way, or if you wait till you're not angry, or if you you know, hug me for five minutes before we have the conversation, whatever. They may come up with something that you hadn't thought of. And even if they don't have anything immediately that they can offer you to support them in supporting you, then they will feel respected that you're trying to help them help you. So those are the keys. Stop, be aware, evaluate yourself, be honest with yourself and others, and ask for what you need gently, and respectfully and lovingly and ask how you can help them provide what you need.